Hello everyone and welcome back to Tom's computer channel. In this episode we make us a little tool for the C64. It's a dead test and diagnostic double cartridge. So we can check the C64 if this had some issues. So let's go! So welcome at the bench. For this build we need the PCB. Where you can buy the PCB I put in the link uh, put the link in the description. We need two sockets and two capacitors with 100 nanofarads and of course some EPROMs. The links to the materials I put in the description, also the link for the program and the manual. So let's start it. For this build I must use this one because this one is broken. The this missing the part. So, first we start with the 100 nanofarad capacitors. It's very, very tiny. No. Put it in this position and bend the legs on the other side. Flip it around, soldering iron, some solder, Cut of the legs. Some IPA and clean this. I use this IPA instantly to clean the rest of the board too. So then flip it over, put the sockets on its place and we have here a notch in the silk screen and we have here, we have here a notch in the socket and you must line them up. So first one Second one, then I use some electrical tape to hold the sockets in place. And we put it on the other side. Then we make them solder them on two legs.
and then it's in place so we can remove the tape and the rest So, soldering is done, and then clean the board. You can also solder some reset switches here, but that's not necessary. So the next step is program the e -prongs. Hello everybody, welcome back on my desk. And now we program the e -prongs. If you see, I have opened the program to uh, flash the EEPROM. Now I put the EEPROM in the programmer. This EEPROM programmer you can buy cheaply on eBay or on Amazon. And now at this point here, we choose the EEPROM. You uh, write in this place the uh, EEPROM numbers and then you can find your matching one. And then you press load. Choose your binary file. OK. And then you press program. Another program, then you flash the program. Now we're ready, succeeded. Then you put the EEPROM out, choose a pit straightener. And put this one in the socket. Do this carefully so you are not bend the pins. And now we use the second one. Press read. This one is empty, load, next binary, open, and then you press program, another time is program, now we flash the EEPROM, and it's ready, so choose the EEPROM out, Straighten the bits and put the EEPROM in the socket. Look here that you here is the notch. 
and the notches there. Should be on the same size. It's a little bit fiddling, but be careful. Now all pins are in and now it's time to test. So here we are at the bench. All is uh, connected to the TV and now we put this card in this C64. Oh, before we do that we look if this thing works. You see it works. Now we put the diagnostic card in the C64 and then power it up and you see it works. Success! On this picture you see the result of the fully test and you see some ports and some ICs are bad. Um, the most of these ports are bad while no uh, test harness is connected and the other beds, the interrupt and um, the CIAs and someone is uh, for future repair video there we can check this out so that's it for this episode you have seen to make such this little tool is not that easy it uh, makes a lot of fun I have learned new things yeah that's uh, is a fully success is the next video uh, for my c64 and i hope you liked and enjoyed so put thumbs up leave a subscribe and a comment or a question and i see you in the next one bye